Hey y'all, it's Joanna here from Nanny's Country Treasures. Well, guess what? I've been shopping again. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't help myself today. The internet was really, really bad, and instead of cleaning house, I got bored and went shopping. But, you know, that's all right. We can do that if we want to, can't we? I mean, yeah, we can. Okay, anyways, so I have a haul for you. I know I do hauls a lot, but I shop a lot, okay? I can't help it. If they had a Dollar Tree Anonymous, I need to be there. You know what I'm saying? I, I totally need to be there. I could probably start one around here and be the head of the thing. But, you know, I mean, just kidding. But in all seriousness, though, yeah, I do shop a lot. Um, I do have uh, some things that you could be interested in and you get better deals on at the Dollar Tree than you would anywhere else. So I have those over here. That's not craft related. That's just me, um, things I like that you can find cheaper. Anyway, blah, 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 quit jabbing. Here we go, okay? Dollar Tree. Of course, I had to um, get more, more flowers. I don't know what it is with me and flowers, y'all, but these were... There's a lot in there. Like, you can cut those out, cut them apart, and use those for different DIYs. And they're just handy to have around. They are just, they're nice. They were good quality. I picked up a couple of these because I needed some smaller little dainty flowers to put in an arrangement that I'm doing. I bought these for a future DIY for spring. Uh, I got two of those. I finally got the reindeer moss again. This stuff has a very, very cool texture to it. And uh, it's really neat. And I like to use it in my projects. Um, found this twine at Crafter Square. Uh, it's really, I'm, I'm sure I've, it's been there before, but this is the first time I've seen it. And it's thicker than what they have over in the automotive or even in the other crafter square stuff. So I picked up one of those because I like them bigger. Okay, let me get this out of my way. I picked up two of these. Oops. <laughs> I picked up two of these garden trellises. Uh, I will um, video you the DIY I wanted with these. But anyhow, I picked up two of those. Hold on. Since I dropped it. I found these little stickers. They're wooden stickers, and they are so cute. So, I figured I'd pick those up. You Sometimes I have no rhyme or reason why I pick things up. It's just, oh, that's cute, and there, there you go. I got it. Pop dots for future DIYs. I always tell y'all that I'm going to do DIYs, and you don't see any. But I really am going to do DIYs more. I just, I can't help but go shopping. I picked up a couple of these. Yeah, well, it's not my thing, but they have a, this can come off, has a cardboard back, so you can take the, all this out and redo it, which is what I'm going to do, make 3D, like, shadow box type DIYs. I found these, they are really, really sticky, and I use these on glass and vases and things like that, so I picked those up. I've seen more ouch, more transfers. I just hit my elbow, I'm sorry. Um, these have really, really good sayings. And yeah, I can cut them out with my Cricut or Silhouette, but these are already there. I don't have to weed them. Um, cutting them out is sometimes kind of hard, but um, these just, when they go down, they're real matte finish. They're not shiny. They're, I just, I really like those. I really do. Oh, I found another one of these. Yay! I get to make a, another onesie for my other granddaughter. Then they can match. They're cute when they match. They were born almost... Uh, they were supposed to be born two weeks apart, but they ended up being... One came early, so they were a few... Uh, about a month apart, but... Anyway, no, not a month apart. What am I thinking? They're a few weeks apart now instead of that uh, two weeks or week. But anyways, move on. I don't even know. I got this transfer for a towel for my kitchen. 
Okay, these are more of the cup stickers. Okay, um, I watched a lady do a tutorial on these. And I told y'all I would get a cup, but I haven't been able to find a, a white, plain white cup to put them on. And um, so anyway, I don't have to because the Thrifty Sheikah did it for me. You can watch her channel. Um, she's very informative. I can't link it because I'm not sure how to do that stuff yet. But anyways, these, when she put them on, they're like stickers, but they're kind of rubbery. Um, they did not stick when she washed them. She run them through a dishwasher, didn't stick. She hand washed them, they did not stick. They slid right off. If you're gonna just put like a decorative cup in your coffee bar, these would be okay as long as you don't wash it. You can wipe them off, but you cannot wash them. Um, but I got these two. Just, I'm not gonna make coffee cups, I'm pretty sure. I just wanted them as stickers. Then, they have the bins again in solid colors. If I'd had known they had solid colors, I probably would not have got the black and white striped one I had, but they're in the solid colors and they are the same thing. Baskets, you know, saggy butt bottoms. Uh, but anyways, and I said I wasn't gonna buy any more, but I ended up doing it anyway. I bought these. They were cute. They kind of reminded me of the Pioneer Woman. And I'm doing a project with something from her that y'all probably think I'm nuts. But anyways, I, I got two of these. They come two for a dollar. So I got two of those. And I'm going to use those to make something. Okay, I got one of these. These are new. They're mask containers. Of course, I'm not going to use it for that. Um, they're thin little storage. They snap. I opened one. They snap and, you know, they're not very thick. But I, uh, if it's anything storage, I'm grabbing it because I always have a lot of junk to store, store things in. I store these in there. I got some more leaves. I think these are different. I'm not sure. They may not be. I may not just even remember what I got. I found the word friend and I grabbed it I got two of the ones that say hugs because these were new I picked up one of these these are cheaper there than they are at Walmart or anywhere and they work really really great uh, so I have something I have to use this for so I picked up one of those just it's a better deal Picked up dental floss to make hair bows. Um, that's what I use to make them. This was so cute. I seen these. This one was my favorite. Um, but these are prayer, prayer boxes. They are so neat. It says, give it to God. It's got the flowers. Of course, my color. You get a pencil. You get a notepad in there. This comes out. Look at that wood. Ain't it cute? And then you just write your prayers down and keep them in here. When God answers them, I guess you take them out or put them somewhere else. But it says, God is within her. She will not fall. Psalms 46 and 5. And I just, I thought that was really cute. I should have got them for my church ladies. But I didn't think about it at the time until I left. And I don't even know if they would want them. Um, this is so stinking cute. It's just a plastic jar. But I, the lid is adorable. So I'll store something in there. Then I got this pail. It was so cute. I'll probably put loose threads in there. Because I have a habit of when I'm sewing. If I don't have trash cans all around me, I just throw it in the floor and then it gets caught in my wheels on my chair and I just make more of a mess than, than anything. Okay, I picked up two knives. Um, I don't know how they're going to be, uh, but I use them in my craft room to open my all my Amazon packages. <laughs> and the one I have, I bent it um, digging on something. So i am got these. Maybe one of them will be sharp enough to open my boxes and junk. 
I picked up two of these. I already showed these in a haul once before, <laughs> but uh, when I was going to do a DIY with them, I needed two of them or three of them. And one I got last year and it was totally a different size. Like it was way bigger, wider, and it would not go with these. So I ended up getting two more from this year to match the one I have already. So I got those for a DIY. I don't know why the Dollar Tree um, makes things differently. I opened this because the wrapping on it was so um, loud. It was just crucial. These are magnetic pockets. I seen a DIYer have these and I thought they were so handy. Um, they're not very big, but you put your stuff in there and it has Velcro. And I have metal cabinets. Um, you probably can't see me stick it, but it sticks right on your cabinet. It just sticks there. And that's gonna be handy. I picked up zip ties, black, because I need them for a project. I found these, which I was shocked to find these still out, but I need these for a project um, that I'm gonna do. That's another letters. Picked up parchment paper. Uh, this is pretty good deal on our parchment paper. I don't want a big roll because I don't have room for it over here where I'm working. Um, but I use this when I do sublimation. If you're using a heat, you know, a handheld like a Cricut Easy Press or something like that, this is good to lay down over your project if you don't have a sheet that they, you know, some don't give it to you. You have to buy it. So this is good to put down. It's just the right size. You just rip it off. So these are handy to have. Picked up felt. It's not very thick at all. It's real thin and soft. But I make tags sometimes, um, labels when I make stuff. So I print down, you know, print my stuff on there and then I have my labels. Y'all, this is so neat. I've seen these before and I've wanted to pick them up and then I didn't because I thought, what would I use that for? And then when I went back to get them, they were gone, of course, and it took forever for me to find them again. But these are tubes, and they're expandable tubes. Um, they're really, really neat. I got one open. They have a handle, and they screw down to whatever size you need them for. You could put pencils in here. You could put scissors in here to keep from getting poked, paint brushes. You know, there's just pencils, whatever you use. There's lots of possibilities to put in these, but I am excited to use these for vinyl. Um, I'm going to be traveling to my daughter's, and I do crafts when I'm down there with her. She's a couple hours away from me, and this holds vinyl. Not just one roll, but it will hold several rolls of vinyl at one time. And I thought that was, like, super handy and super neat, you know. I'm going to be able to look and all the vinyl in there and I can still put more in there it depends on how tight you roll it and it's not going to get damaged I don't have to worry about it getting bent you do have to put it in the smaller tube there's a smaller tube and a bigger tube you have to put it in the smaller tube and then the bigger tube goes on top and it just screws down to however big you need it how cool is that handy so I picked up a couple of those Picked up floral foam to do my florals. They're really super cheap there. I found three of the bins that actually match. So I'm probably going to replace this one up here and put it somewhere else. But I was excited to get those. They were the only ones I found. But anyway, I picked up a couple of these signs. That's upside down. Every time I do a video, something is upside down. Um, nobody's perfect, I guess. But anyways, this comes out. You can remove this. And, you know, it's got a hanger. You can use it or take it off if you want to, you know, stand it up in a tiered tray. It will stand up. So, I picked up, I think, three of those. I'm not sure. Um, I got some more ribbon just because I always pick up this one. I use this one a lot in DIYs especially in the fall so when I see it I get it 
And then I picked up this one because it's mint green. It's mint green, and I love mint green. I, I don't know what's wrong with me and mint green. I picked up one of these. I needed it to put my paper in. Um, card inserts. One card's bigger than the other, but... Anyways, I had so many from that paper I've been collecting that I need something bigger to put it in. And these are better quality. I, I, this is so weird to say it, but these are better quality from the Dollar Tree than they are Walmart. I went to get a bunch at Walmart because they're 88 cents or 80 cents, 50 cents, something like that when school comes out. I could not get any one of them to shut and stay shut. But when I went to Dollar Tree, um, they shut. They stay shut. I mean, you get a better quality box at the Dollar Tree than Walmart. Um, something's wrong with that picture, Walmart. But anyways, I picked up one of those. If you hear a crash, it's because I am falling down over here. I am, like, literally falling down over here. I picked up fairy lights. Um, I don't think I've ever seen these in the summer. I don't know. They may have them. I don't look for them. But I picked up the silver. I think I have them in black, but I use these a lot when I'm decorating in my house, especially in the winter. Ooh, Lord, they're about almost went all that in the floor. I picked up some more of these because I really, really like these. Um, these are so good for, like, when you travel to put your... I got one I made, homemade lotion, and put that in there. And put it in my purse so it's easier so I don't take a big container that I make it in or whatever. So I got these for to put my shampoo in. They're supposed to be for dressings. Um, but I just like that they squish. You can like squish more out. I'm I'm a miser, I guess, is what you call me. I was so stinking excited to find these galvanized signs. Um, these are thick, good quality signs for the Dollar Tree. And I cannot wait to DIY with this. I am so excited to DIY with this. Um, I thought it was really, really cute. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to paint this or leave it as is, but I, I got this truck. I love this galvanized truck. I don't even know what I'm going to do with it, but it's so cute. I may just hang it up. I don't even know. But anyways, I seen it and I was like, I just need at least one just at least one. Then I found this truck. I thought that was so stinking cute. I'm going to personalize the tailgate. But I just thought it was cute. I picked up a couple of those. I found the fingers that I was... Um, these are handy. I was going to say that I was talking about, but I don't know if I talked to to about it before or not but anyway these are handy I have some already so what I'm doing is when I get so many subscribers um, I'm going to do a giveaway I will do a generator name generator and I will pull out a name uh, just randomly and I will send you a gift box and it's not going to have just this in it. I'm picking up things along the way as I'm shopping to give to y'all. I picked up these. I have not seen the larger clamps in pink. I've got them from the automotive in red. And the other clips are pink. So I just got them to match. Um, I picked up some of these. Some are mine. Some will be yours. Whoever wins. So I picked those up. And I'm trying to go fast, and this just ain't working. Okay, if y'all have pain of any kind, um, muscle pain or whatever, I have trouble with my sciatic nerve. These are the best patches. In, I mean, I am not even kidding. You get two patches in there, and they're, um, I think it's called capsium extract and menthol. They smell a little, a little but um, they... I don't even care how I smell. When your sciatic nerve hurts that bad, you'll do anything, honey. And these work. And whenever I see them, I pick up a few because there's a lot of people that know they work. So you won't find them if you don't pick them up when you see them. Um, that was free for you. Just knowledge that you might have needed to know. Uh, 
I picked up these. Now, y'all may think this is funny. These are not kids' toys. These are actually in with the, the dishes that are hanging up, you know, the utensils or whatever. I use these all the stinking time. I have, I don't know how many different colors, but I'm trying to get rid of the colors and just go neutrals with grays with my Buffalo Kitchen. Buffalo check kitchen, not my buffalo. It ain't buffaloes in my kitchen. My buffalo butt goes in the kitchen sometimes, but there ain't normal buffaloes in there. But anyways, I got these. I use them for gravies. I, I do my mashed potatoes. My instant mashed potatoes are always lumpy, so, you know, I have to whip them. And anyways, these are just really nice to have. These are wonderful. I have got my kids these. Um, and they actually said, I use those more than I thought I would. I use them in my air fryer. I use them when I'm frying anything. Uh, they're just real handy to have. They're, they're small. They're good for, you know, small storage. I, I use them a lot. I picked up these. They don't have such long handles. And I've switched over to stainless steel and getting rid of all of the, um, getting rid of all the Teflon stuff. Because I'm sick of buying pots and pans. It just comes out in your food. You buy stainless steel, you have them forever if you treat them right. So I'm getting rid of the plastics. The older I get, the, the more wackier I get with stuff. Um, okay, this is the stuff that is just random. That is a good deal at the Dollar Tree. This ketchup is good ketchup. It's for a dollar. It is way more in a store, I promise. Even Walmart. Y'all... <laughs> mug treats I don't do the cake one because I can't get it but these just I love these they remind me of TV dinners I don't know so I picked up four of those they're real easy all you need is a cup they're good too they're good your A1 sauce a dollar it's a good size bottle my husband's the only one that eats it so when I buy this size, it doesn't ruin before he gets it eight. So that's a good deal. I bought apple cider vinegar with the mother. Um, it's a smaller bottle, so I can take it when I travel. And uh, this doesn't have to be refrigerated. So you don't have to worry about it. Nope, don't have to go in the refrigerator. Um, so you can just carry it around wherever you need to go. Um, I think that's all I got there. Now we're going to move to Walmart. Okay. I needed this for a project. Oh, you can't see my lighting was bad. It's mint. It's the only mint. It's gloss and I didn't want gloss. But they don't have flat mint. So anyways, I picked up this one. Rust-Oleum 2X is the best paint and primer that I have found. It sticks to anything as long as you let it cure you know you got to give it time to cure but that is the best paints is rust-oleum boy if i did these commercials for people i'd be rich the way i try to sell their product white daisies i need those for something my lighting is terrible sorry about that this is funny um i love the duck contact paper See the duck on there? This duck contact paper, y'all. Removable adhesive. Clear and transparent shelf liner. Well, this is 18 inches. I don't know when it started being 18 inches. It was 12 inches. It was a whole lot easier to mess with. I bought this to go to my daughter's and it's like, it's way long. Uh, I hope it works the same as the 12 or like it usually does. But I use this as um, transfer paper. Uh, I love it. It's the best. It doesn't, it'll pick up your vinyl, but it doesn't like hold on to it. it it's really, it's really nice. Okay, this is, this is weird what I'm going to do. This is for a DIY. I'll try to video it for y'all if it comes out right. If it comes out wrong, I'll tell you I did it wrong. Um, Pioneer Woman uh, placemats. They're quilted placemats. They're pretty thick. And I need a laptop sleeve. And all the laptop sleeves, they're expensive. And I'm not going to use it that much. I don't need it that much. 
So I'm going to make one. And I didn't want to just use fabric because it's too thin. And I mean, what's the point? So I got these. And besides, they're like super pretty. Well, when it pockets on them um, to hold my cord and my mouse and all that if it doesn't fit in here. So I have one for a pocket on each side. I am... I have it in my head. Now, if it comes out of my head through my hands, uh, like I think, like my mind sees it, then I'll, I'll be good. But if not, I don't know what I'm going to get. We'll see, though, won't we? Um, this is a good deal if you sew two yards for $2. Um, you have to search through their fabrics, but they have some pretty good fabrics. This is really thick cotton. So, I was excited to pick that up. Okay, fat quarters. Y'all, they have their spring fat quarters. I opened these to show you. Look at those little animals. They're so cute. They're so adorable. I got this one. And I'm going to pair it with this one. And I'm going to show you how to make a DIY. With that, and I picked up this one. This is so pretty. All these florals are so pretty. And I have a DIY with this one. Um, it's going to be neat, y'all. At least I think so. So now that I'm acquiring stuff, I'm going to be doing DIYs. But I'm not going to say I'm not going to do less hauls because I shop all the time. I can't help myself. I'm, I'm, I, I really, I can't help myself. Um, but anyways, I am done with this haul. Uh, I want to tell you thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Hit that little bell and you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Goodbye and God bless.